every challenge of the pre-2014 era was overcome through our economic management and our rev governance. These have placed the country on a resolute path of sustained high growth. This has been possible through right policies, true intentions, and appropriate decisions. In the full budget in July, Honorable Speaker, our government will present a detailed roadmap for our pursuit of Vikasit Bharat. Revised its estimates. Revised estimates of 2023-24. The revised estimate of the total receipts other than borrowings is 27.56 lakh crores of rupees, of which the tax receipts are 23.24 lakh crore rupees. The revised estimate of total expenditure is 44.90 lakh crore rupees. The revenue receipts at 30.03 30 lakh crore rupees are expected to be higher than the budget estimate, reflecting strong growth momentum and formalization in the economy. The revised estimate of the fiscal deficit is 5.8% of GDP, improving on the budget estimate, notwithstanding moderation in the nominal growth estimates. Budget estimates for 2024-25. Coming to the year 2024-25, the total receipts other than borrowings and total expenditure are estimated at 30.80 uh, and 47.66 lakh crore rupees respectively. The tax receipts are estimated at 26.02 lakh crore rupees. The scheme of 50-year interest-free loan for capital expenditure to states will be continued this year with an outlay of 1.3 lakh crore rupees. We continue on the path of fiscal consolidation. As announced in my budget speech of 2021-22, to reduce fiscal deficit below 4.5% by 25-26. The fiscal deficit in 2024-25 is estimated to be 5.1% of GDP adhering to that path. So the gross, net, the gross and net market borrowings through dated securities during 24-25 are estimated at 14.13 uh, lakh crore rupees and 11.75 lakh crore respectively. Both will be less than that in 23-24. Now that the private investments are happening at scale, the lower borrowings by the central government will facilitate larger availability of credit for the private sector. Vote on account. I'll be seeking vote on account approval of the parliament through the appropriation bill for a part of the financial year 